Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nick with Indiegogo, and guess what? It is my birthday today. I am now 16. But that's not what I made this tutorial about. I wanted to make it about moving platforms, specifically horizontally moving platforms. So the first thing that we're going to do is add in a new object. And I'm just going to use the regular ground sprout and name it uh, obga underscore h platform. Now add in a create event and add the code h speed equals 2. Now the h speed is kind of like v speed except it's horizontal instead of vertical. So this is just going to allow the platform to move. And this 2, it can be set to anything that you want, but it's best to keep it at a slightly slow speed so it won't be very hard for the player to just jump on the rod, you know. But uh, you can set that to whatever you want. Now add in another event for collision with object ground. You can use object blocker if you would prefer, but I'm just going to use ground. And add in if h speed is over or greater than zero, h speed equals minus two. Else, h speed equals two. So, what it's going to be doing is when you collision with the ground, it's going to check what your h speed is set to. If it's greater than zero, it's going to set your h speed to minus two, so you'll be moving in the opposite direction. And basically, this is the same thing. It, if it's not greater than zero, then obviously your h speed must be uh, minus two, so it just sets it to two, so you'll go in the other direction again. So let's get out of this and also make sure it's solid. I forgot to mention that. And go to the player and duplicate uh, collision with object ground and add in collision with object H platform. Now go to the step event and go all the way down and add a few lines. Okay, so it's going to check if you are collisioning with the object uh, H platform at uh, the character's Y plus 32 position, which would be the very bottom of the character, uh, then if you're collisioning with the object, then the player's H speed is set to the object H platform's H speed. So that just allows the character to move with the object. But when you're not collisioning, with the uh, object, the H platform object, if it's executed this code already, then your H speed will always be set to the object H platform's H speed. So we need to set it back to zero with an else. Okay, now let's just uh, copy this here and delete the plus 32 and go over to the X and add in plus 4. Okay, so what this is going to do is it's going to check if you are collisioning with the uh, each platform at the player's uh, right side, then it's going to move you to the left. So that keeps you from getting stuck on the platform. So let's just copy and paste this and change this plus to a minus and this minus. Well, let's just remove that minus. All right. Now let's just copy all of this dealing with the moving platform and go to the pushable block. Go into the step event and paste it. 
Alright, now duplicate this just like we did with the player. Collision with object H platform. Now, let's modify the room a little bit. And add in the platform. And test. Alright, player moves with the platform. He is pushed out of the way if he's on the side. Now let's go back up here and push this block over onto it. And it works, yay! Alright, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I uh, hope that helped you out, and be sure to save your game. And I will see you in the next tutorial.